My name's Chris Hubick. Um, I got into fat bikes for uh, winter riding. Um, they're really great. They've got five inch tires on this one, which lets you float over the snow and in the summer you can cruise over all the routes. Um, the bikes are specially purpose made for, uh, to hold these tires. They wouldn't fit through a normal fork. Um, they come with uh, suspension now and all kinds of things like normal bikes do. Um, the technology has really been advancing. I started off riding it just in the winter, but you get used to having fun kind of rolling over things. So in the summer they're great because you can get over all of the routes and they've got great traction. So as long as you've got the muscle, you can pretty much climb over anything with this bike. A normal bike tire would probably be about 45 PSI in that neighborhood. These ones you usually run from about 7 to 10 PSI, so they're much squishier. Also a normal mountain bike tire costs probably in the neighborhood of 50 to 80 dollars. Um, these ones checked in at around 180 dollars each, so they're a pretty specialized part. Um, they're usually, most bike stores will stock some of them these days or you can special order ones if you're looking for a specific kind. A normal mountain bike probably weighs in the neighborhood of 25 pounds. This one's about 32 even though it's made of titanium. Um, the weight is, the tubes form a lot of the weight of the bike. The tires are obviously heavier than a normal bike tire so um, there's a little bit of a downside there but the rolling weight once you get moving you don't really notice it quite as much. So this, is a, this bike has been built as a single speed. Um, it's primary designed for winter, so the single speed helps when you're riding through snow. You can go through like snow or two feet of snow and not gum all the gears up. Um, it's a little harder to, to ride through some hills and stuff sometimes, but I think the benefits for the single speed outweigh the, the extra work you have to do. <laughs> the thing that's the best thing about Edmonton is that there's no other city in the world where you can come out your back door and find this kind of riding. The only downside is it's frozen for half the year, so having a fat bike basically opens that whole thing up to you year round.